Bellator 106 was one of the promotion's most anticipated events, with the action emanating from Long Beach Arena in California. The main event featured the long-awaited rematch between former Bellator lightweight champ Eddie Alvarez and the man who took that title away from him, Michael Chandler. Alvarez was on the move early and often as Chandler would continually press forward and look to land a big shot. As soon as the opportunity presented itself, Chandler took the fight to the mat, but Alvarez was more than up to the task of defending. The pace was frantic throughout the contest as both men showcased some elite cardio. They traded rounds back and forth, but neither man could really establish dominance. They were dead even heading into a brutal final round that saw both men trading big shots and rear naked choke attempts to close out an epic battle. The judges had the unenviable task of deciding a winner, and it was Alvarez who would reclaim his title and pull even with Chandler at one win apiece. The second title bout of the night saw Bellator's interim light heavyweight belt on the line as Emmanuel Newton faced off against former Strike Force champ King Mo Lawal. Newton won the first meeting between these two by first round KO back in 2011. The wall used his wrestling early on to get the fight to the canvas, while Newton scrambled well and was busy with his kicking game, connecting with a big shot in the second. Him down. Oh, nice kick, kick lands. That hurt him. Newton started to pull away in the striking game after that, disrupting the wall's rhythm and landing from in close. The wall was still swinging power shots throughout the contest and scored on a late takedown, but it was too little too late by that point as Newton cruised to a unanimous decision to claim the interim strap. The featherweight title was also on the line in a battle of Bellator veterans, where Pat Curran defended his belt against 21-4 Daniel Strauss. Fans were treated to a very technical show in this one, as both men played rock-paper-scissors with their respective striking and takedown games. Curran caught Strauss with an illegal knee in an exchange, and it would cost him. Still the combo oh. main event, big knee, and that's on a grounded opponent. You see that illegal knee, and they are taking away a point. Strauss was okay and it would turn into a grueling ground battle from there, with both men working relentlessly on the mat. They'd trade takedowns, ground and pound and submission attempts, but it would ultimately get sent to the scorecards. All three judges ruled in favor of Strauss, who completes the upset and goes home with the Bellator Featherweight Championship. UFC veteran Joe Riggs squared off with Mike Bronzoulis in the finals of the Fightmaster Reality Show Tournament. Riggs put on an inspired performance as the veteran was swinging with bad intentions from the outset. He'd hurt Bronzoulis multiple times during the fight, but couldn't find that one shot to put him away. He would do more than enough to take a clean sweep decision though, earning himself a cool $100,000 and a spot in the upcoming welterweight tournament. Kicking off the main card was a heavy-handed featherweight affair between M1 veteran A. Cop Stepanian and former Bellator tournament finalist Mike Richmond. Both men exchanged some stiff shots in the opening round. Stepanian had Richmond hurt with a big right hand, but failed to follow up, and only seconds later Richmond answered back with a thundering left that brought the fight to an abrupt finish. Who says smaller guys don't have knockout power? Richmond gets back into the win column and he improves his record to 16-3.